Detroit. Um, I I wrote it when I was as far away from Detroit as you can get. Um, I was on tour. I was in Texas, and um, that's funny. <laughs> um, anyway, but I I yeah, and I was really missing Detroit, and so I I just listed kind of everything I could remember about Detroit. I had been gone for I think like five months, and um, and just was missing Detroit, and so I wrote this poem. This is called Detroit While I Was Away. Oh, sorry, I should also mention this last thing. I have a new chat books, um, so if you're interested in picking one up, it's got this poem and some of the other things that I did today, and also some CDs uh, for sale as well, and they're pretty cheap. So um, this is called Detroit While I Was Away. <coughs> Even though I know the air hangs like a dead dog's ass over River Rouge, I still miss you. <laughs> Your fenced-in gardens filled with sustenance and Saturday evening blue. The September stench that creeps slow as a Woodward bus on Sunday. Your acoustic guitars and amplified hair. Your rows of long, thin buildings arranged on a young man's head. Last time I saw you, a woman stood on a corner conducting traffic, her own sunken opera, a crack pipe baton, car horns joined in like a bad man cruising a dream. She stood on the corner of Cass and Mac, dying to reach Joy Road. The moon left its spotlight on a backdrop of burnt out buildings. Police tape posed like velvet rope. Do not cross. A picket line of teens careened down casts past broken glass that spread like urban sprawl or the Diego Rivera mural painted across the whole damn DIA wall. Another time I saw you steam barreled out of your manhole covers like you were about to explode. A soul imbibed 40 ounces of courage so that it could head back down to the axle plant on Lynch Road or Jefferson Avenue or some other conveyor belt street that had everyone moving in step like a temptation line dance. 22 ounces of sweat and iron hidden in a bathroom stall away from the plant tours and fat cats, the shop stewards and snitches. I remember you, old friend. I'm in a different city now, but somehow... Martin Luther King Street always looks the same. It just doesn't intersect with 12th Street, Rosa Parks, where 67 fires started. Named for a woman who chose you beyond a boycott in Montgomery and then rode the front of that big old dog straight on home to you. Detroit, I love you. From your basketball sun that hangs in the sky, then falls only to bounce back up again tomorrow. Down to your alligator shoes. I'll kiss you on the river. Meet you in the middle of a suitcase and wonder. Do you ever think of me this way? Do you even know I've gone? Say my name, Detroit. I pray that you claim me. This small town boy born in New Jersey, but made in Detroit. My heart beats like tool and die for you. Like horsepower and pistons for you. While mechanized lump and I robot zombies haunt Mac Avenue. Here they come, a gang of tank tops and do-rags marching down to Hastings Street. I never got to know you way back when you wore your onyx necklace like a tire around your neck, but I get to witness the aftermath, dipping your blue-black hands in electronic currents of music and art, the circumference of outer drive, morass and joy, Paris of the Midwest they called you. And every time 67 or Halloween came around, you lived up to it. The year I was born, you blew up. I heard it. I came when I could. I stay even when I go. Chosen heart. Adopted town. From Belle Isle to Eight Mile. Chocolate City where the mothership landed. Late night downtown and the peacocks are out on 4th Street telling stories to street lamps that hover over highways. The moon is a plate full of soul food, Mexican food, pierogies and punchkis, kofta and curry. We mix and separate, mix and separate. Each Prentice stoop is a garage rock chord, strummed and banged like a car mechanic sledge. A man screams beneath the Ambassador Bridge. Another drums on plastic tubs for tourists. Will work for food is a piece of poetry, scribbled on an art house wall. Festival wizards, Saunderson, Atkins, and May, the big three. Detroit, Detroit, 
of three. Black Panthers, White Panthers, and Lions, oh my. The tight boys in rock pants, the hustlers in Palmer Park, the lovers, thugs, and bluesmen with axes sharp enough to chop down another forced overtime shift. Detroit, your beautiful hair-woven women with sundresses flowing supremely like the Detroit River, grabbing tools and standing next to me on the assembly line, teaching me what perseverance and being a brother is all about. These are the overtime fists clocking. These are the hands that braid hair and lock dread and cook meat that falls right off the bone into fat black pots of collards, working harder and harder and harder still. So step on, Detroit. Dribble and shoot. Pass and play. Struggle and fight. Darken and light. Drive and impel. Riot and quell. Pick the steel burrs off the cross members at the front of the Jeep Cherokee. Look what we have made you. Steam and steel. Still. That's how hard I love you.